So this is an Ethernet crossover cable um, that you can use to con connect directly two computers together um, just by placing the lead between the, the, an Ethernet port on one computer to directly to an Ethernet port on another computer. So it's different to a standard network cable because a standard network cable just goes straight through and in a switch or a router it will then cross over the transmit and receive lines for you but on these cables the transmit and receive lines are, are swapped over so you can't use this cable to connect your computer to a switch or a, net or a router because it, will, it won't communicate properly but if you connect this directly between say a laptop and a Raspberry Pi you can get the two computers to connect, uh, talk directly to each other and because you've got no switches or routers uh, you get a very fast communication and you don't actually need to be on any other network uh, in order to communicate between the computers. So you don't need to be on a Wi-Fi network or an Ethernet network. You can just uh, connect a, a Raspberry Pi directly to a laptop and, and uh, talk to it. Now you can find these, so I made this one myself, but you can find these on eBay for about a pound, pound fifty, something like that. So very cheap to, to, uh, to actually purchase. So to create the connection, uh, you have to configure two things. So first on your desktop computer, so I'm using Ubuntu on my desktop computer, in the network connections, go to edit connections, and because I'm using a virtual machine to record this um, session, uh, I've got example here. So if you double click on the actual network um, ethernet connection that you'll be using, it comes up with an edit connection and you're just interested in this IPv4 settings tab. Uh, change the method to manual for setting the uh, IP address and then type in the IP address you want to use for your desktop side. So here I've got 192.168 and I've got dot five because it's not good. I don't want to interrupt um, any of my Wi-Fi networks or anything like that. It needs to be a unique um, number from your Wi-Fi networks or, or your, or your um, LAN networks. And then I'm calling uh, my desktop computer dot one uh, after that. Um, and then in the net mask, just type 24 or 255.255.255 is it dot zero um, and then click on save for that and that's one side of the connection then configured then on the uh, Raspberry Pi side of the um, of the configuration if you look if you look at the top right hand corner of the display it's very similar to configure over here so if I right click on that and then it's in this wireless and wired network settings and in the dialog that comes up, you select the Ethernet port. And I've disabled IPv6 because um, it's easier just to think of it as IPB, IPv4 for now. And you just have to enter an IP address which is on the same uh, subnet, which will be 192.168.5, whatever you used on your desktop computer. And then, because uh, I used dot one on the desktop computer to be that address for my desktop computer, I've used dot five here. To be the address of my um, Raspberry Pi, uh, and once you've typed in um, these those two configuration options and uh, connect the crossover cable between the two devices directly from your your desktop computer directly uh, into your Raspberry Pi, you can then uh, should be a, then get a communication between the two going. So once you've got a connection established between your desktop and the Raspberry Pi over the crossover cable for the Ethernet. Um, you, there's a few things you can then do. Um, well, do stuff like you would normally do on a network. Um, so if I open up a secure shell to um, the Raspberry Pi, and because it's a direct connection, I get a dedicated and very fast connection. If I use minus X on the secure shell um, command, I can then uh, open up um, actual X Windows applications, but they appear on my Ubuntu desktop, but they're actually running on the Raspberry Pi. So if I open up gedit uh, and I open up the on the Raspberry Pi the boot and the conf, the config um, .txt file, um, so that's actually running on the Raspberry Pi, but it's actually appearing on my computer, uh, on my desktop computer, like a window. So I can close that. Uh, so, so another thing you can do. So if I um, secure copy um, from my desktop machine, so .5.1 is my desktop machine, uh, and I've just created a, a temporary huge file just as an example um, of how to of how to do this. .tmp. 
Uh, and if I, I move that to the home, uh, the desktop of the Raspberry Pi, um, and then I type in the password for my computer. Oops, I might have to do it again. test.tmp and it copies the file uh, and it's copying it 11 megabit, megabytes a second so that's because it's a dedicated link you get a really nice quick uh, copy of, uh, of huge files and now I can look on the Raspberry Pi desktop uh, and I can see the files copied up there so I created a 100 uh, megabyte file um, and then there's uh, another thing that you can do as well. Um, so if I come out of my secure shell, uh, so you can also open up a VNC to the desktop as well. So if I select VNC, so this is me on my on my desktop, my Ubuntu desktop. Uh, .5.5. Um, uh, then if I open up a, a session. It opens up the session to the VNC, which is running on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so I've got the, like the, the desktop um, thing because I can only uh, capture a small window. So if I sc scale uh, this, so I see the, the desktop of the Raspberry Pi scaled now. And I can open up folders. I can go into things and I can just work like uh, like I'm on the desktop of the actual Raspberry Pi itself, but on, on my local machine. So it's a really nice, versatile, really quick uh, communication method to get to your Raspberry Pi. Uh, and because it's dedicated, um, you get like some nice fast speed as well. And you can just leave it connected as long as you want. You don't need to be on any other network, so you don't need to be on Wi-Fi, you don't need to be on an Ethernet network. So you could be in a coffee shop and you could have your Raspberry Pi next to your laptop and just communicate directly to the desktop of the Raspberry Pi uh, using VNC or, or, or using a secure shell.